Hey, it's Cosmic Ray, the quantum mechanic. Today we're going to use some shapes. We're going to show you how to draw dots, moons, triangles, diamonds, and stars. That's going to be our hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, carbon, phosphorus. We're going to draw sugars. We're going to see sugars are nothing but diamonds and hearts. Oxygen, CO2. This is what? Photosynthesis. Next, nitrogen is a triple bond for nitrogen. See how it's a triangular house, sir? 78% of the air that you breathe is nitrogen. Nitrogen is three bonds, like ammonia. We're going to see the suits for the cards up here. We got spades for hydrogen. We've got hearts for oxygen, clubs for nitrogen, diamonds for carbon, star is phosphorus. So let's get drawn. Let's see what we got here. We're going to have. Red for positive is hydrogen, so we're going to have a dot. Little hydrogen is a proton. After hydrogen, a heart. Or a half moon. It should be green. This is why we get to compare this now. We'll call it a quarter moon. Two bonds on an oxygen. So we've got a heart, will give us two bonds. After the heart, we've got nitrogen with three bonds. That's a diamond. No, it's not, it's a triangle. No, I wasn't tricking you, I actually said that wrong. Triangle, three bonds, one, two, three. That's nitrogen. Well, what is it when you're playing cards? You've got clubs. One, two, three. That's clubs and cards, right? One, two, three bonds for nitrogen. Now, this is what's beautiful about this. Carbon has four bonds. And what elemental form of carbon do you find that is the... Envy of all the young brides wanting a diamond ring. So a diamond for carbon gives us four bonds. So what are the suits we got? We got diamonds, clubs, hearts. So the hydrogen, I guess we'll, since it's tiny, we'll make the hydrogen a spade. Make it small. My jaw is not going to show up very good. So these are our shapes. Four suits. We've got carbon. We've got oxygen. We've got hydrogen. Now, what do these make? Well, see the artistic value in this. If we take photosynthesis, for example, carbon... The colors are going to be off on this. This is why it's just something we're playing with. You got a carbon, four bonds, an oxygen with two bonds. So we could make this a heart. One, two, one, two. This is how you would draw CO2. Two hearts and a diamond, okay? Now, when you come over to the other thing in photosynthesis is water. Now, oxygen can always be a circle, but for this general purpose, we're going to make it a circle. Because when you do that, you can draw the two little hydrogens up there like Mickey Mouse. So not to confuse you any more than you need, this is water with CO2. Make it green here. CO2 plus H2O goes on to make sugars, which what you're going to see now is a diamond and a heart. So you still got two more bonds on that carbon. 
One would be to an oxygen heart here, let's say. This is where the end of it is. So you got one on that heart. Out here you've got a little hydrogen. We're going to call that the spade, remember? So here's your little spade. Doesn't look like a spade, does it? Shouldn't be that big. The hydrogens are real tiny. So, this diamond goes to another diamond. And there's an oxygen on that because of the CO2 that it came from. And you got another little spade out here. Got to make these tinier. I'm not good at drawing those. So the, what you see now is that the diamonds keep going on by themselves. A diamond necklace is what a sugar would be when you get six of these. So it's just hearts, diamonds, and spades. There's no clubs. So do you see the way you, like you play a card game or something? There's only a certain allowable elements here. So I don't want to write it in red because it doesn't show up as good. And let's see, where is it in here? This is a sugar. So what is a sugar composed of? For you people that don't like numbers and stuff, it's composed of hearts, diamonds, and spades. So if you learn this technique, you know that a heart is oxygen, a diamond is carbon, hydrogen is a little spade. So off this diamond here, we always see there's going to be four bonds on that carbon. It's always a oxygen in your sugars. This makes glucose, and there's six of them. So what I want to stress here is the color coordination too. See, this goes against my red being positive and all that stuff, but it allows you to focus in on the, the suits being the elements. I think there's a lot of potential in this. So my goal now is let's try and draw some DNA. Actually, since we have all these, we're going to draw... This again was CO2, water, makes a sugar, and what else comes out? O2. So what this is going to show you now is that O2 is a double bond. O2 that we breathe. That's why when they say all the oxygen we breathe came from the plants and stuff, well, it was O2 from photosynthesis that made that possible. So what you got to remember is there was more CO2 in the air that the plants took it in with water up from the roots. The CO2 comes in through the leaves. You make sugar, your glucoses. O2 is what's expelled from the plants. So if your rainforests are dying, things like that today, your oxygen levels, 21.3% in the air. 21.3% of the air we breathe is O2. And you know what? This is finely tuned. This 0.3, if it was up to point, I've heard of 0.5, two points up or down, either way, either everything would burn or nothing would burn. So what I want to stress in this little example here, photosynthesis, 21% of our air that we breathe now is O2, which they say at a certain time earlier in the Earth's history that wasn't the case, and I believe it, that the Earth had to go through some changes to make it habitable for us before God let us come live here. So what is in the air now? N2, there's a triple bond, 78% of the air that you breathe right now
is nitrogen. And it's two of them. So N2 is an N triple bond. And the way you'll really draw this is having electron pairs because you always got to count the electron pairs. So the triangle really has a little pair of electrons there. The bottom of the clubs has little electrons there. But we're just dealing with bonding here. This is the whole key that no one talks about when they're teaching chemistry. This is the different view why I tell you if you learn it this way, you're learning the bonding. If you got the bonding down, counting the electrons, all that other stuff, you'll be able to look up on a table that they'll give you. But this is what you have to learn. The octets are all eights, but since we're bonding here with our triangles, watch what happens. One nitrogen's a triangle. It's got three bonds. Another triangle with three bonds. What do you get? Something that looks kind of artistic, huh? Isn't that one of those three-dimensional kind of deals? Is this frontwards or backwards? We'll put the end here. Nitrogen. Nitrogen, N2. So with this triple bond, we need nitrogen in our amino acids. How do we get it? There's a little bit of NO that's created when lightning strikes, because remember, you've got 78% of the air here that we're breathing is almost totally inert. So think of all the breathing you do, taking a deep breath. <sighs> Eight tenths roughly of that is nitrogen, N2 with a triple bond. So what do you think it does when it goes into your lungs? Nothing. Doesn't react at all. What your lungs are trying to do is get the O2 in and the CO2 out. So this kind of insulates it, that things don't instantaneously combust. So our shapes that I'm promoting here. What's going to be cool for nitrogen is we've got our old amino acid backbone. Remember that. We've got a nitrogen that is bound to a carbon. Carbon's always a diamond. That's what's so great about this. Carbon technically should be black. That's why I don't like the suit thing working with that. So carbon. Four bonds, what do we know that it's bound to another carbon that gets the double bonded oxygen on it? So let's throw two bonds down here to oxygen that now this is a cool one we just came up with. It's going to be the quarter moon. So say oxygen out here is quarter moon, but we can dot in the rest of the moon. So double bonded O to the carbon. We've got one more bond up here. Well, where does that go? See, this is the repeating session of the let me write it, N. Now what's neat is N's got a little double bond thing here. So I'm going to show you this just because it's artistic. We're trying to make it art, right? So here is nitrogen would technically be the diamond and then the lone pair of electrons up there makes it kind of like a little alien spaceship, doesn't it? Hmm? So that's what nitrogen is. Nitrogen, let's say ammonia is NH3. Look up here. N H three is ammonia. So we could call him the ammonia alien. Got three bonds. What are hydrogens here? They're little dots. So we'll draw a dot and a dot and a dot. Now this is really what the chemical structure looks like for ammonia. Three hydrogens that are protons are out there bounded in a lone pair of electrons. But see, back to our shape.